what I'm going to do in this session, I will start one application form for one of the university in US that is Purdue University. You can just watch that. It has all the components which actually uh, in which you have doubt. So, uh, so I will show you step by step how to fill the application, which information you have to fill and which one you don't need to fill. There is some information which you don't need to fill. For example, in some universities, they are asking about social security, SSN number. That is the information which you don't have to provide when you are an international student. Uh, other things, some students have uh, doubts about scholarships, whether to put fellowship, whether to put TA, RA. So I will take all that thing. I will start one application form for Purdue University and uh, take it to the last where you actually have to do the payment. So if I fill one application form, I think uh, the rest of the universities, somewhat it is same. You can just follow the same procedure in other universities. Okay. So I will share my screen. And uh, this is mostly for PhD application. For masters, we have separate session for that. Uh, so you can just follow that if you have problem, like how to uh, basically how to get the loan documents and all. So we have a separate session for that one. This is mostly about PhD student. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, just a minute. Yeah. So for example, I want to apply in Purdue University, PhD uh, in mechanical engineering, that is my department. So you just have to search something like that. If you want to start for any university, you have to search like Purdue graduate application, or for example, Penn State graduate application, Rutgers graduate application. This is what you have to search on the Google. The first link which pop up always from that particular grad school, that is a link which you have to open. For example, Purdue, this is a thing, how to apply, how to apply the graduate school. So here I want to clarify, in US, undergrad means BTEC, bachelor's, okay? And grad means master's and PhD. So you always have to go for grad school, even if you are PhD student, even if you are a master's student, you have to open the graduate school. So in India, we use this word differently. Graduate means like when you uh, passed, I would say when you passed your bachelor's and uh, when you passed your ma master's, then you say like I graduated. But in US, it is used in different way. So here, nobody will say I'm master's, I'm PhD. They will say I'm in graduate school. So this is what graduate school means. It means master's and PhD. So you open this one, a lot of instructions will come. Okay. Always you, if you read this one, you will find some link. For example, here, uh, you have to go for application account. So create an application account. This is the first thing for every university you have to do. First of all, you have to create account in that particular university. Okay. So you uh, need to find that or you can click on apply now, same thing, same page will open. But first of all, you need to open the application account. So this is the application manager. You find it, you find it in every university. First time when you have to start, you have to create an account. So if you click on this one, you have to provide your email, first name, last name, birth date. Then you have to click continue. Uh, it will ask you some other information which you have to fill. I already did that for Purdue University. So it's a simple personal information, but thing is first time you have to uh, create an account. Once you create an account, you have to log in. So I already created account with my email address. Uh, so I just, I will log in. Okay. So this is the actual application which I filled in 2021 and uh, this is just to show you, I started a new application. So this is 2024 graduate application because upcoming is fall 2024. So you have to start one application for grad uh, for fall 2024. So just click on open application. So in every university, this is the information which you have to fill. Okay. So if you are planning for some university, if you are planning like I want to apply in UT Austin, let us say. So start your application because what happens when sometimes you start the application, 
you find something new which you don't have for example here it is personal history statement which you never heard before what is this you always heard like statement of purpose you know about personal statement but this personal history statement this is something new which pop up so if you start your application on the very last day then this is a disadvantage sometimes you have to fill some uh, you have to prepare a new document which you don't have previously that's why i always suggest if you think i want to apply in purdue university just start your application and reach up to this stage go through this application form uh, so that you will be familiar with that and just stop at the page where you have to do the payment okay so yeah if you have any question in between just let me know okay i will uh, answer that so always they will start with the instruction you can read this one initially and once you read that then just say continue uh, every application start with personal background so personal background means your personal information first name you always know like what is first name preferred first this one and some students have middle name last name so here's the thing many students have problem they don't have last name if you don't have last name it is a very big trouble when you come to us or any other country because in every document you will feel some sort of problem if you don't have last name so my suggestion if you don't have last name and you are in india just uh, find the procedure to add last name to your name and uh, that would be very very helpful so overall story is like you have to go to the newspaper some newspaper you have to approach them you have to tell them like i want to change my name so they will publish in the newspaper this student now onwards from rahul sharma its name his name is uh, whatever you want to for example sanjay sharma so if i want to change my name so you should have that uh, basically newspaper cutting and uh, then you have to change your name on the passport so this is the thing which you have to do but if you don't have last name uh, you can contact with some students who don't have last name but it's very big trouble i would say if you come to any foreign country without last name because when you have to make license when you have to make social security number always you are in trouble you have to put extra effort to explain them why you don't have last name so what they will do in us if i have only first name that is rahul then they will put no last name instead of uh, sharma they will just say no last name so this is very big trouble on some document it will come like this rahul no last name on some documents it will come like no first name and your surname is rahul if you don't have surname it's a very big problem i would say okay uh, so yeah just put your last name over here uh, then address you can so mailing address in us mailing means uh, it's not email it means uh, uh, mailing means postal address uh, just give me a minute so mailing means postal address so mail mean post a uh, post here and emails means emails whatever you know so you just have to give your uh, permanent address over here and then uh, your current email your mobile number uh, your biographical information your gender your birth date i think everything is okay country of citizenship india citizen ship status so so you have to click here international okay so your citizen ship status in uh, us will be international you are international student over here uh, then what is your native language you can select somewhere hindi and all whatever is your native language uh, it doesn't matter like whatever you select it doesn't mean like if you select english they will give you extra advantage it's not like that they just want to know your uh first native language okay so are you a united state veteran or service member so if you click on this you will get two options so you are no one among that so you just say this one 
So generally what happens if some information is mandatory, they will put this star in the last. Okay. So if it is not mandatory, then you can leave the columns. Okay. So if something is mandatory, you can't submit your application without that. But if this mandatory option is not there, you can just leave that information if you are not sure. It will not make any difference. Then military affiliation information all the time at the time of en enrollment, do you expect to hold an active affiliation or position with a non US military organization? So I think you are not, you are the student. So just say no. Even if your family members are in military, it doesn't matter. You are not. So then just say no and continue to the next basically section. Emergency contact, just give contact of friend, guardian, parents, spouse, others, anyone like whose contact you want to give, just put there. And I think this is self-explanatory address, country, postal code, US area code. Like when you select country, sometimes this option will go away. If it is not, you can just leave it blank. Don't just get confused what is that. Just give the postal code of uh, Indian city, wherever your friend or parents are living. And then just say continue. Okay. Yes, so this is important. Many students have this doubt. What is in-state tuition? Okay. So in US, what happened? If, for example, my uh, university is in New Jersey. So the people who are resident of New Jersey, they are eligible for in-state tuition. So they are living in that particular state. So that's why they are eligible for in-state tuition. And uh, this is like 50% almost 50% of the tuition fee which is there. So for example, you are in New Jersey and somebody is living in Pennsylvania. So if he wants to uh, study in Rutgers, which is in New Jersey, so he has to play, pay 50% more, 50% more. So in-state tuition fee is always very less, but for international student, you are never eligible for in-state tuition. You always have to uh, say no over here. So I hope you got the concept of in-state tuition. So it's only for US resident who are living in that particular state. Okay. Uh, then you have to say continue. So this may vary from university to university. Okay. So for example, Purdue has three campuses. So you have to go through the website. You have to check your department lied in which campus. Okay. So are you a currently registered graduate student at one of the Purdue University campuses? If you are in India, then say no. Uh, if select your current status as, as it pertains to Purdue University. So you have to select current or former Purdue undergrad. Undergrad means BTEC. You never did BTEC from Purdue. Uh, former Purdue graduate student. Graduate means master's or PhD. You never did that you are new to Purdue. So you have to select this one. Okay. If you have to apply or registered any Purdue campus enter 10 years. So every university will give you this ID. So if when you come to US, for example, Rutgers, Purdue, Penn State, they will give you this 10 digit ID. Uh, like it varies from university to university. Purdue will give you 10 digit ID. But since you are not in this campus, just leave it blank. So don't put extra information if you are confused, you don't know, and that section is not mandatory, just leave that. And there are some questions. So these are mandatory, like are you currently a Purdue employee? That is no. I consent and authorize for Purdue University faculty and staff access to my Purdue University academic record and university business. So you can say yes. Select your campus and program of interest. So this is somewhere like you have to put some effort Okay, so first campus, for example, mechanical engineering. So West Lafayette, Purdue West Lafayette, that is the major campus, okay, of Purdue. I just want to go there. So I select the campus. It has three campuses. So these two are not very famous, but this one is one which I want to select. So you have to check the website, find like your campus, sorry, your department lies in which campus, okay. If you want any help, you can discuss with us. If you're not sure like which campus you have to select. And then what is your major? 
so here we have concept of major and minor in india we say like what is your department here people don't say like what is your department people will say what is your major so major means department so my department is mechanical engineering i filled that one okay uh are you interested in applying to second campus or graduate major so here is the thing if they are not taking extra money from you and you want to uh, basically apply in two three different departments then you can say yes but i was not interested at that time i don't want to go to any other department so i said no but you can say yes if sometimes what happen from one application form you can apply in three different departments for example for me mechanical engineering aerospace engineering and material science all are same so i can fill three form from one application within one fee okay uh, it's up to you you can select hmm. so now you selected the campus you selected the department in the previous uh, page so that is that you can't change here uh now area of interest what is your area of interest so within mechanical engineering what specialization you want to take so you can always check on their home page for example you can go to purdue website mechanical engineering and check their specialization so in my case i already know so there are lot of specialization okay so mine is design and manufacturing so i worked on 3d printing that lies in the manufacturing so i selected this one so this is somewhere you have to put effort you can go to the website go to the department check the specialization uh, and please select a degree objective phd ms so hybrid vehicle so they have some graduate certification course or non degree so non degree you will not go so for phd you have to select phd uh, please select your desired location for graduate studies so i want to go to this west lafayette campus okay please select your primary course delivery method so uh, nowadays due to, after covid there are two things so some student enroll in hybrid also so hybrid means some classes will be online some will be offline so mostly people who are living in us they, they are working somewhere so like in india we said uh, online courses so so if they are doing jobs and all they will take this hybrid program but for you like you want to do full time phd you have to select resident resident means every class you want to uh you want to attend in person you don't want online course you don't want to sit india sit in india and want to attend classes in purdue this is not what you are going to do so select residential hybrid means 80% online 20% residential and distance courses are also there Uh, i'm not sure whether it is for international students or for national student but there are some uh, basically distance courses so you selected residential and uh, then you have to select the semester so for example you want to go in fall 24 so i hope at this moment it is clear fall means whatever is going to start next year august okay spring means whatever is going to start next year january so you are targeting at this moment fall semester you have to select fall 24 okay uh if you have any question just unmute and interrupt me in between and i'll say continue so for uh, yeah yes yes sham so for applying for ms we have to select in that accounting program as in ms msme okay so for masters there is separate session where we are going to explain you but uh, here nobody tells mtech mtech doesn't exist in us so everybody will say ms so ms is of two type ms by thesis ms by coursework or here it is said like m inch sometimes they say m inch but they will never ask you in the very beginning whether you want to go for thesis or m inch okay so you have to select ms every time okay so yeah this is the thing mm. okay next is now i selected the department so they will ask you some question okay i yeah so my 
interested research area design and manufacturing second research area so even if you are talking to some professor and professor is in manufacturing and he's giving you positive reply still if you have chance in the application form to select second research area i suggest yes select second research area also because what happen according to these things whenever you fill the application form if you say i am interested in design and manufacturing fluid mechanics okay these are the two research area so my application will be sent to the professors who are in design and manufacturing and who are in working in fluid mechanics so to both the professor they will send my application so that's why uh, even if you are getting response from one professor in the application form you can select two three so that your application is more or less general okay uh uh, sir, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. That uh, some of the uh, applications I face that there is a only selection of the one choice, one area, then like research one. area. Uh, yes. but uh, sir, I have like you know my research interest is not a like, you know not a particular in you know, one department. It might be like for the some way extend for the other department also, like other uh, research interest area. Mm -hmm. There is an option to be as undecided. So can I select the undecided there? No, like you have to select one department only. So some universities, what they have, if you want to apply in mechanical, then material science, then aerospace, you have to fill three different application form. So for one application, you have to select one department. In that case, don't say undecided because undecided will give different impact to the graduate committee. They might think like you are not sure in which area you want to do PhD. So if only one is available, then I would say fill the one which is like on the priority list of yours. Okay. So don't say undecided. If you okay. want to apply in two, three, then I would say uh, like uh, uh, you can um, you can fill two different application forms. Okay. Yeah. So next question is are you yeah, applying uh, for? Uh, hi, sir. Yes. Uh, this is Prince. Uh, in most of the application which I have given, in those uh, applications, there, they didn't mention any uh, interested research area. Uh, they just mentioned the major, that's it. So, uh, how is it work? Like, how is it will um, go to the concerned professors? Yeah, so uh, what will happen, for example, Rutgers, my professor told me many times. So, when you applied in Rutgers in the month by 15 December or 10th January, I think is the deadline, in the month of February, uh department will tell all the professors like these are the application which we got for this particular uh semester fall semester so if professor knows your name he can directly search your name and find your application otherwise uh those professor who are contacted uh, contacted by uh and con uh, not contacted by any student they have to go through each and every application they find like they can sort like from your CV, they will find the research interest. For example, I have, I put like additive manufacturing as my research area. So they will shortlist like that. But your application in that case is open to all the professors in the department. If they're not asking for any interested research area. So you don't have to worry. Whatever is given over there, yes, you just so have to be there, be in that particular information. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next, a uh, simple question. Are you applying for combined BSMS program? This is for current Purdue undergraduate student. You have to say no because you are not undergrad student. Uh, are you an exchange student from this one? Say no. Are you in Whirlpool program? You don't know about that. Just say no. Uh, profession master's program consideration. Please check. So you need to check this detail if th you think like this is relevant to your then you can say yes otherwise for phd student you have to say no uh, will you be self fund your grad study never say yes uh, for phd never say yes okay for masters if you are coming on the funding then you can say yes uh, but this is for uh, if you being admitted to pmp so i think it is talking about this particular program you can say no will you stay p in pmp so you say no so these type of question generally for phd you have to say no okay uh next is your <clears throat> educational background so here's the thing some universities will ask you for official transcripts and all 
what do you have to do? Add institution. For PhD, you have to add only master's and bachelor's information. No 10th, 12th information is required. So never put that. Uh, for bachelor's, you can check or you can discuss with Anki sir and Sayyam sir whether 12th marks are required or not. According to me, I think it's not required, but you can just check with them once. Uh, so yeah, this is the thing where students will get most of the problem. The first thing here you have to do, change your country. If you did your master's bachelor's from India, first of all, put India over here. And other thing you don't know is CEEB. So they just give you some information of here. If you can't find your institution, type your institution name and enter 000. So most of the time, if you search somewhere, like if I search Rutgers, so it is there in this one. Okay. But if I search my bachelor's college punjab technical university uh, okay. so always search your university not your college so if it is not there just write uh, whatever your institute name is don't worry much like whether it is there in the list or not just write the name then city then region region is state uh, dates attended you have to give the date of when you graduated from that one level of study, graduate, undergraduate. So again, undergrad means bachelor's, grad means master's plus PhD. Master's or PhD. So if you're applying for PhD and uh, yeah, any question? So here they're asking only for PDF files. So PDF can degree, you have to upload. They are not asking for official transcripts or official degrees. Uh, sorry, they are asking for unofficial transcript somewhere here they mentioned. So you just have to upload the PDF over here. Okay. So I hope you know about the official thing, official transcript. So here's the one thing which I want to mention. Uh, that's why I'm saying like, don't start your application in the very last because here at this point in Purdue, if they are asking about official transcripts, okay, you always have to check for the university. If they are asking for official then you go back to your college in India. So for example, my master's college is IIT Kanpur. So I have to go there. I have to tell IIT Kanpur I want to apply in Purdue. Send my official transcript. So they will do it in two ways. One is sealed envelope. So they will send your official transcript in the sealed envelope. Okay. Other thing is they can email they can email uh, your official transcript. They can email your official transcript to that particular uh, university. But that is the official one. So this sealed envelope thing, this will take 10 to 15 days. So that's why you need to start your application forms at this moment because you have like one month at this moment. And uh, yeah, you can send that. Uh, so BB is saying like ending date and comfort date of bachelor's degree. So, so they are asking for both separately. Yes, sir. So you just, I don't know what comfort date means, but I think it may be starting date of your bachelor's. You can just Google it and whatever it is saying, you can just put tentative dates. So, uh, okay. So here, like it is not very, very important. If you miss the month or something like that, it doesn't mean they will reject your application. They are just asking for tentative dates over here. Okay. 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 Uh, sir, one thing more like uh, uh, if uh, yeah. anyone like computer yeah. any certification course, shouldn't you mention the education yeah. background? Uh, no, certification course will not come here in the education background. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so here they are asking for transcripts unofficial transcript but make sure like they're not asking for for example Rutgers need official transcript so for me take 20-25 days to send my official transcript to Rutgers so this is the problem uh, just start your application at this moment and just check the requirement once okay so this is about transcript then diploma diploma means your degree it doesn't mean diploma whatever uh, diploma you uh, like in India, this term is used differently. It means diploma after 12th class. So this is not that. 
this will mean your degree certificate. In US, your degree certificate is called your diploma. For example, your BTEC degree, your MTEC degree, uh, both are called diploma. So you have to submit that. You have to upload that. So they are they are accepting provisional certificate also. So for example, you are in third semester of your MTEC. Still, you can apply by uploading a provisional certificate. Uh, if you don't have anything in the third semester, you can just leave this one. They will give you time after uh, your admission also. Okay. Uh, then additional information. Uh, yeah. So some universities will ask you for that list of faculty Sir. with whom you would like to. Hello. Work. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Vishwajit. Uh, sir, uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, go uh, ahead. Sir, in uh, diploma uploads, uh, do uh, do I need to upload BTEC certificate or MTEC? Both. For PhD, you need to add both. Both. So, mm -hmm. so uh, as I can see, there was only one upload option. So, should I combine both? Uh, should yes. I combine the both PDF for BTEC and MTEC? Hmm. Let me just search. Maybe if I upload one PDF. Okay. Let me. Up... Hmm. You need to combine both actually. No. Okay. There is add another option. Like once you upload one, one certificate, then add another option is also there. So you can upload separately too. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Let me delete this one. <clears throat> yeah. So after that, additional information, some universities will ask you for that. It is not mandatory, but if you get this type of option and you are in contact with only one faculty member, still, I would say put three faculty members name over here. Okay, if by any chance one faculty is not selecting you, maybe these two will select you. So they will send specifically your application to these faculty member. If you mention something over here, for example, if I'm a professor, you mention my name. So whenever your application is complete, I will get notification like this student have men has mentioned your name in the application form. So I will specifically uh, get access to your application. So for example, if you have five, I would say like upload five faculty name over here. Okay. Uh, don't worry like you are in contact with only one professor. You are sending emails to only one professor. Still, I would say upload five uh, faculty member, whatever options you have. Okay. I have one question here. Uh, mm -hmm. If suppose we have mailed to professors and uh, they didn't reply it, still we can uh, put their names over here, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. And sometimes what happens, once you put their name in this particular section, then they start replying you back. So some professors have this mentality, those who applied to this particular school. So those who applied to Purdue, then only they start emailing, uh, they start replying you back. Some professors have this mentality. So once you mention their name over here, then again, send one reminder email to the professor. You can just say like, I completed my application in Purdue Graduate School. I mentioned your name and hope you can access my application. I am very positive to hear back from you. Something like that, you can always write to a professor. Okay. Next thing is funding. Are you seeking a Purdue University graduate assistantship or fellowship? So here, fellowship, yes. Professional assistant, GA. Graduate professional assistant, yes. Assistantship, yes. It means you have to teach or you, sorry. It means you have to do some clerical work or sometimes there is no work, just funding. Research and assistantship. Sometime some professor will give you RA. So yes. Teaching assistantship. Sometimes department will give you TA for one semester, one year. You have to teach a bachelor's class. So say yes for that. Never say no. I am seeking external funding. Uh, you are not seeking external funding. Uh, I am self-funded. No. So you never tick this one. But rest all type of funding you have to say yes. Whichever will you will get. Fellowship is very good. Like you never have to do anything. 
if your profile is very good you will get fellowship and you are very lucky you don't have through any ta work throughout your uh, uh, phd for me like first semester was ra sorry first semester was this professional assistantship in rutgers second third was ta and then i am on ra so it might change depends on your professor uh are you seeking external funding from outside purdue university no you are not seeking that so never say like yes uh, to any of the option you just have to say i am relying on purdue university funding so they will put your application in that pool where you, like you are seeking funding from the purdue university and next one is did you attend us high school so high school means uh, high school means 12th Okay, in US it means twelfth, so it doesn't mean tenth. It means twelfth standard. So I think you never, none of you will did that. So you can just say no to this one. Hmm. So yeah, like uh, this is the thing. What is the highest grade of level of education completed by parent guardian or this thing? So you can just say high school graduate high school graduate means 12th only then some degree some diploma so you can select accordingly for your parents okay mm. so application fee waiver if you are a member of purdue university please select so you are not just leave this one do you hold teaching or any other certification so if you have any teaching experience you can uh Okay, so sorry, this is only they are asking about US, so you have to say no. Even if you have teaching experience in India, I think you cannot select that because they are asking about US states. So you don't have, then you say no. And this option doesn't make anything certification type, area of certification. So this is only for those who did teaching in US. Uh, list of publications. So see, like they have only. 750 characters so just whatever you mention in the references so in cv section if you have publication you mentioned that just copy paste over there what how many publications you have have you previously completed a non-credit course or program with purdue university so some students they did some online courses or uh, something like that from purdue university they can say yes otherwise for you it is no non-credit course credit course means if you are enrolled in purdue so there are three credit courses for every semester. So non-credit means you're not enrolled with Purdue, but still you are doing some certification course, something like that. You just say continue after this one. Uh, employment. So if you have previous work experience, just go here, add to work experience, country, blah, 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 everything. Okay. So, sir, yeah. Yes. Uh, sir, Agar, uh, if we have not published the paper and it's still, uh, it is on communicated, so can we add there? Uh, don't add here. Just mention in your CV in that case. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> sir, sir, may I ask one in, question? In experience, may I internship ka bhi daal sakte hai, kya? Fir, uh, Yes, yes. Sab daal okay. do. Jo bhi hai, tumhare paas jis type ka bhi experience hai, sab daal do. Okay. So, like this experience I have of RA ship in IIT Kanpur. So, I did RA for six months. So, I have that too. And uh, just give the description what you did from dates of employment, project associate, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Kalpana, you are asking something? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, I am asking that uh, this is the particular university, Purdue University. Yes. So we have to uh, fill uh, such forms for each and every university? Yes, that's correct. But okay. uh, more or less, every university has same application form. Only thing is portal is different, but they will ask same information. My point over here is, if you're planning mm -hmm. to apply in seven to eight universities and deadline mm -hmm. is 15 December, let us say, I'm mm -hmm. saying at this moment, start the application form. Because sometimes what happens when you start filling the application form, you need extra documents. For example, mm -hmm. if you're uh, uploading the uh, transcript, you see like they are asking for official transcript. It will take 15 days. So that's why I'm saying like for everyone start at this moment. Don't pay the fee. 
that part you can do in the very last but start the application form at this moment okay so uh, when, when, uh so in the suppose i am in a computer science field i mean uh, i just want to for artificial intelligence to jahan par bhi matlab vacancy hogi wahin pe fill kar sakte na only uh yes and at this you know? moment i at this moment i hope you sent emails and all to the professor if you are uh, targeting phd so hmm. from whenever you are getting response and uh, try to make up your mind like where you want to fill the application if you are confused just set hmm. up a, some one on one meeting with me like i have one meeting with bhavya tomorrow so okay. we will sit and we will uh, decide like okay this is your profile this is the response hmm. you got so hmm. apply in these 6 7 or 8 universities okay thank okay. you thank you thank you yeah. okay so next thing is statement of uh, purpose yes sir bhavya got a response from universities like uh, or you are just uh... no i'm just saying ki uh, uske sath meri meeting hai i will ask her tomorrow ki kahan pe kya chal raha hai kitne emails ke reply aaye oh, oh, okay, okay. yeah okay yeah so try to uh, decide at this moment where you want to apply because only if one month left less than one month left okay so next is statement of purpose so always every university will give you some prompt what to write in the statement of purpose so i hope uh, like all of you already sent your statement of purpose to ankit sir so just modify little bit according to the prompt whatever they are mentioning here so you can use chat gpt also uh, it depends on you how you are using or discuss with ankit sir like these are the prompt and i think uh, like point number 4 is missing in my sop so he will help you in that but this is where you have to upload the sop and for purdue university they didn't write any word limit sometimes what happen like when i was start starting to apply some university will asking for sop in 500 words and my sop was like 1700 words then again you have to spend one two days on that have to reduce the content so that's why i'm saying start it early and uh, yeah this is a typical example when you start statement of purpose so when you start filling the application you will see this thing they are asking for history statement you never made that so this is the prompt describe how your background and life experience contribute to your ability so this is a diversity statement okay so we have some samples if you need this type of information just contact kelas sir he will provide you some samples then you have to write personal history statement so this is a typical example if you start application in the last day and you find this type of information then you are not able to fill the application in one day next thing is score so here what happens you have to add test for example gre gmat whatever you want to add so they will ask you for test state verbal quant analytical percentile so you just have to upload the information then what happen from the ets website you have to send official score to this particular university for example i sent my score to this particular university then they verify both so for example this one they did not verify yet this is my self reported score but uh, when i something i sent something i mentioned over here and i sent the official score to this particular uh, college this particular university through the code every university has some code so once you send that they will verify and your status will be verified once they verify the score so this is important they will give you time you can just add your score uh, now like if deadline is 15 december you can send official score after that as well but if you don't send the official score never you will it will always say self reported once you send that it will say verified okay uh, so sometimes what happens some universities they will give you admission on the basis of self reported score and they will say like your admission is tentative if you did not submit the final official score and if it is not matching then your uh, admission offer letter will be cancelled okay so after test score you have to add the resume i think this is straight forward then letter of recommendation so here is the one thing you have to click here add recommender you have to fill this information 
as soon as you add some email address over here and you can say like send to recommender immediately they will get one email from the purdue university this is the student rahul sharma he's asking for your recommendation to the phd program in purdue university so he has to upload the recommendation you don't have to upload pdf here something like that your recommender your professor has to upload that so he will get one email from the purdue university and only thing which is not self explanatory is this one i waive my right to access this report i do not waive my right so if you say i waive you can never see like what your professor wrote for you if you say i do not waive so once you uh, once your uh, recommender send the lor to the university uh, after he send you can also see like what he sent about you but if you say i waive then you can't see so for example in the very first time i click this one this option then uh, my professor at iit kanpur he told me like i don't want to show you what i wrote uh, for you so then i have to click this option then again i send him recommendation then he finally gave me recommendation so it depends on you some professors in india they will tell you to write recommendation then it doesn't matter like you can say i waive my right or i do not waive my right because in any case you know like what he wrote uh, but yes if you want to see what your professor wrote about you then you have to click this one okay sir jaise ek bar send kar diya sir second time to assess nahi dwara nahi kar payenge hum i think kar sakte ho reminder ka option aata hai once you send this one then second time okay. they will uh, give you option send reminder to this particular person so reminder emails jaati rehti hai uska na okay to sir ek jo email hoti hai professor ki wo university ke naam par honi chahiye ya matlab apni bhi email kar sakte hain hum uh i would say like send a uh, university email for example if i use my gmail then it doesn't look professional to uski credibility khatam ho jati hai professor ki agar university something like this i if i write ki rutgers dot edu it means ki professor is there in that particular university to credibility hoti hai okay sir jaise koi professor hote hain kahin aur shift kar jate hain matlab to nayi university mein nayi university aur mere sir jo ek professor hai wo apne usne business start kar liya but usne left kar diya university to in case mein gmail chalegi ya matlab yes if you don't have any option then finally you can put gmail agar koi hai hi nahi unke paas official id ho Okay. But I suggest try not to take recommendation from those professor who doesn't have a professional email ID. So, जैसे हम PTU वगैरह से professor से लेते हैं, यहाँ पे official उनके पास नहीं है, तो उनकी credibility नहीं रहेगी LOR की इतनी. Okay. Okay. Even if you are submitting, they will never take it as a credible source of information. Okay. okay. but if you don't have any other recommendation from any other person then use gmail id you can't do anything okay sir sure so finally padta hai kya matlab agar agar yes yes uh, lors are very very important actually in us and also what happen if you are from iit and it so nobody cares like what lor you are getting but if you are from state university or uh, let us say your cgpa is on margin but your research work is very good professor is in 50 50 situation like whether to hire this student whether he can cope up with us education system or not in that case i remember in your pedia last year uh, one graduate committee from germany they interviewed the professor who is giving recommendation they scheduled one interview with him and they asked like you wrote this this thing in recommendation for this student we are in dilemma so tell us like how is this student so recommendations are important don't take it casually uh yahan pe in us uh, they give like very high value to recommendation for example yeah sir like uh, mera department electrical hai mm-hmm. so kya main apne department ke ilawa jaise department of uh, mm-hmm. uh, फिजिकल साइंस या फिर मैकेनिकल इन सबसे भी ले सकता हूं या फिर अपने ही डिपार्टमेंट का ही चाहिए होगा मुझे द ओनली थंब रूल इज इफ यू वांट ए इफ यू आर टेकिंग एलओआर फ्रॉम समवन यू शुड वर्क अंडर हिम एट सम पॉइंट यू शुड डिड यू शुड डिड एनी कोर्स अंडर दैट प्रोफेसर ओके वो किया है वो वो पढ़ा हुआ है वो किया है देन इट्स फाइन यू कैन टेक इट फ्रॉम एनी प्रोफेसर 
Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sir, uh, one doubt here. Like mm -hmm. uh, some interviewer asked for the three LORs and mm -hmm. uh, like there is a scope to I can provide more than three. Yes. So should I go more than three? Yes, you can provide more than three. Okay. And so uh, actually for TAMU, there is an option that um, like to put a deadline for the LOR. So mm -hmm. how should I handle that one? Uh, it depends on professor, like some professor who work on the like last year of the deadline, then just put a deadline. Otherwise, don't put a deadline, I would say. Okay. Yes, okay. But uh, sir, the deadline uh, should be the submission of like, should be the deadline of the institution or it can be a deadline after 10 days, 15 days of the, uh, you know, so deadline. See of the... like how it happens. This is the application information which Purdue University want from me. If my professor is not submitting the LOR, let us say, okay, I still pay my application fee. So your application is not rejected, but only thing is graduate committee will evaluate only once your application is complete. If your professor is not sending LOR till 15th March, then they will not evaluate your application by 15th March. For example, then finally they have to... Uh, give the results in the month of April, they will give you rejection in the very last. And they check in the pools, like uh, if you feel like 15 December is a deadline, then graduate committee will sit on, let us say 5th January, then 25th January, then uh, something in March, somewhere in March or February. So they will sit in the pool. If you are, if your application is not complete in uh, like before this one, then they will not evaluate. They will send your application to the next pool, next date, next date. Finally, if it is not uh, like uh, application is not fully completed, then they will give you rejection. So this is how it works. Okay. So, oh, sir, yeah. Sir, hello. Yes. Uh, sir, abhi voice, uh, abhi voice thoda, um, wo weak tha signal jisse main samajh nahi paya. Uh, abhi, uh, matlab, jab application ka last date hoga, tab tak hi LOR mujhe fill karwana padega. Ya uske baad bhi ho sakta. Nee, uske baad bhi ho sakta. Hai. LOR ke liye wo aapko time dete hain. Let us say 15 December is the deadline for application. To iska matlab hota hai ki tumhe 15 December se pehle apni application fee submit karni hai. Application fee. Okay. वो okay. तुमने सबमिट कर दी देन यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर लाइक दिस प्रोसेस बट होगा क्या कि लेट अस से योर ट्रांसक्रिप्ट योर एलओआर सो दिस इज नॉट अपलोडेड एंड योर एप्लीकेशन इज इनकंप्लीट बट स्टिल दे विल नॉट रिजेक्ट द एप्लीकेशन ओके देन आई मेंशनड कि जो ग्रेजुएट कमेटी होगी okay. वो जैसे 5th जनवरी को फर्स्ट टाइम बैठेगी एप्लीकेशन इवैल्यूएट करने एंड योर एप्लीकेशन इज नॉट कंप्लीट एट दिस मोमेंट दे विल नॉट रिजेक्ट यू बट दे विल से कि जब हम नेक्स्ट टाइम बैठेंगे लेट अस से 25th जनवरी को तब हम इसको इवैल्यूएट करेंगे देन अगर तुम्हारा एप्लीकेशन वहां भी नहीं हुआ देन दे विल गिव यू नेक्स्ट डेट कि हम 15th फरवरी को बैठेंगे तब इसका एप्लीकेशन इवैल्यूएट करेंगे अब हियर द थिंग इज कि अगर तुम्हारे रिसर्च एरिया में उनको 5th जनवरी को कोई बंदा पसंद आ गया कि लेट अस से दिस इज द गुड कैंडिडेट इवन इफ योर प्रोफाइल इज स्ट्रांगर देन दिस कैंडिडेट बट इफ दे सिलेक्टेड समवन ऑन 5th जनवरी देन इट मींस यू विल गेट द रिजेक्शन सो आई वुड से डू इट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल इट इज नॉट लाइक देयर इज नो हार्ड डेडलाइन फॉर दैट बट स्टिल यू विल गेट एडवांटेज इफ यू कंप्लीट योर एप्लीकेशन पैकेज बाय 15 दिसंबर सर लाइक इन यूरोप में ऐसा होता है कि डेडलाइन uh, कोई है मतलब मान लीजिए फिफ्टीन दिसंबर डेडलाइन है लेकिन वहाँ पे एडमिशन फर्स्ट कम फर्स्ट बेसिस पे मिलता है मतलब जितना जल्दी आप अप्लाई कर लोगे hmm. उतनी जल्दी आपको स्कॉलरशिप हो सकते हो सेम चीज यूएस में भी होती है या फिर यहाँ पर डेडलाइन के बाद ही मतलब सारी प्रोफाइल एवेल्यूएट होती है मोस्टली डेडलाइन के बाद होती है बट अगेन आई एम सेइंग कि दे विल सिट ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक डेट तो ऐसे डेट्स रहते हैं 5th जनवरी 25th जनवरी इस टाइप से तो फिर 5th जनवरी डेडलाइन के बाद ही होगा ना वो स्पेसिफिक डेडलाइन के बाद होगा यस ओके ओके
Uh, this is somewhat black box for me also because some students they got response ki unke professor bol rahe hain ki early apply kar do i think ye university to university bhi depend karta hai but as per my conversation with my professor to hamari university mein 10th january deadline hoti hai aur 25th january ko applications professors ke liye open hoti hain to wo deadline ke baad rehta hai rutgers mein but i heard from some students reply ki professor ne bola hai ki अर्ली अप्लाई कर दो तो तुम्हारा अर्ली पूल में वैल्यूएट हो जाएगी एप्लीकेशन तो सम वर्ड ब्लैक बॉक्स फॉर मी बट एज पर माय नॉलेज आई थिंक इट इज आफ्टर द डेडलाइन ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ओके सर यस सो समवन एल्स इज आल्सो आस्किंग क्वेश्चन यस यस सर आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ अराउंड मोर देन 4 इयर सो शुड आई गिव वन एलओआर लाइक माय एम्प्लॉयर यस so recent lors are always helpful so when i was applying i had 3 okay. year of experience from caterpillar at that time i was giving in some university i got two from iit one from my company okay in some universities one from iit uh-huh. two from my company so recent lors are always helpful because jaise tum 5 years pehle the abhi maybe you you are changed so recent all lors are always helpful okay. and yes on the thumb rule is you should work under that person at some point so company se le rahe ho to you can't take from the person like under whom you never worked so you can take from team lead you can take from manager you can take from process partner so unki kuch capacity honi chahiye ki aapko recommend karne ke liye which they should write in their ha to lors सर वो तो है बट uh, मैं पूछा था कि दो uh, मैं कंपनी से से या एक ही डिपेंड्स ऑन यू अगर बाकी कहां से, अगर अगर तीन है तो बाकी से ले रहे हो <coughs> या प्रोफेसर फिर मैंने चार यूनिवर्सिटी फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस यू शुड गिव टू एकेडमिशियंस इन प्रोफेसर्स का बट अगर वो नहीं कुछ भी हो रहा है कि तुम्हें अप्लाई करना है बट वो नहीं दे रहे हैं देन मूव टुवर्ड्स कंपनी ओके सो इनिशियली टू प्लस वन रखो टू प्रोफेसर्स वन फ्रॉम कंपनी एंड वंस प्रोफेसर आर से अब हम और नहीं दे सकते देन मूव टूवर्ड्स कंपनी और ये उनका सबसे बड़ा कंसर्न होता है की दे आर पेंग यू आउट ऑफ देर पॉकेट वो फंडिंग लेके आते हैं किसी इंडस्ट्री से बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है रिसर्च प्रपोजल से फंडिंग लेके आना पहली चीज होती है कि एक साल का जो कोर्स वर्क है उसको बच्चा हैंडल कर पाएगा या नहीं कर पाएगा दैट इज द बिगेस्ट कंसर्न मेरे प्रोफेसर का वो जब स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी से बच्चों को देखते हैं इंडिया में तो ही इज लाइक कि यार ये कॉम्प्री एग्जाम क्लियर कर पाएगा या नहीं क्लियर कर पाएगा तो इमीडिएटली मुझे ई मेल करता है कि इंडिया में इस यूनिवर्सिटी का क्या स्टेटस है ओके okay. एंड अगर बच्चा आई से है तो ही इज लाइक कि हाँ ये तो कर लेगा मतलब आई का स्टैंडर्ड है तो ही विल डू सो वहां पे इम्पेक्ट बनता है सेकेंड थिंग इज ऑब्वियसली रिसर्च वर्क तो रिसर्च वर्क मेनी स्टूडेंट्स कैन डू लाइक अगर तुम पहले कैपेबल नहीं हो बाद में अगर तुम बैठ गए कोई प्रॉब्लम के ऊपर तो तुम कर लोगे बट कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव एग्जाम इज समथिंग वेयर दे आर बरेड एंड आई आई टी का टैग वहां चलता है थोड़ा हाँ जी आर ई भी तुम्हारा एप्टीट्यूड बताता है कि अगर जी आर ई थ्री ट्वेंटी है तो प्रोफेसर सोचेगा कि यार जो जी आर ई थ्री ट्वेंटी ले सकता है वो मतलब कर लेगा कोर्स वर्क यहाँ का हैंडल माय प्रोफेसर इज ओल्ड ही इज लाइक फिफ्टी एट तो उसको जी आर ई वी आर ई को नहीं मानता वो ना वो उसका थिंकिंग ऐसी है कि 
अगर किसी का रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस है देन ओनली ही विल हायर फॉर पी एच डी ही इज लाइक दैट बट यंग प्रोफेसर दे विल जज यू फ्रॉम जी आर एस वेल अगेन सब्जेक्टिव है ये चीज थोड़ी यस एनी अदर क्वेश्चन सर मैंने आपको एक व्हाट्सएप किया था तो आप चेक करना सर जैसे कि जैसे गिवन गिवन नेम में सर दो नाम होते हैं जैसे है ना दो वर्ड्स के तो देखना सर वो मतलब सर नेम में ऐड करवाना है जरूरी या नहीं कैन यू चेक इट आउट योर व्हाट्सएप प्लीज नहीं देखो नहीं यार ये मुझे चेक करना पड़ेगा मैं इसके बाद चेक करता हूँ पासपोर्ट पे तो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन योर पासपोर्ट कैसे आता है उस पर नाम ऐसा जैसे गिवन गिवन जैसे राहुल शर्मा है राइट तो अगर गिवन नेम में राहुल शर्मा आ गया तो क्या हाँ, हमें तुम एक सर... को फर्स्ट नेम एंड सेकंड को लास्ट नेम कर सकते हो करवाना इट इज रिक्वायर्ड राइट इट इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके या आप या तो लास्ट नेम में डॉट डाल दो या फिर एल एन यू डाल दो और जब आपका वहां से एडमिट आ जाए यूनिवर्सिटी से तो उनको मेल कर दो ऐसे ऐसे ही था तो वहां से जो आई ट्वेंटी रिलीज करेंगे वो प्रॉपर होगा फिर उसके बाद वीजा में जब आप जाओगे तो वीजा में लास्ट नेम मस्ट होता है तो इसलिए फर्स्ट नेम में वो एफ एन यू डलवाते हैं सेम चीज मैंने रूटगर्स को भी मतलब मेल किया तो उन लोगों का रिप्लाई भी यही आया है कि आप बस नेम में एफ एन यू डालो लास्ट नेम में मोहम्मद फरहान डालो सो दिस इज अ थिंग तुम्हें हर बार जब यूएस में आ जाओगे ना उसके बाद भी ये चीज पीछा नहीं छोड़ती है कि तुम्हें लाइसेंस बनवाना है सोशल सिक्योरिटी बनाना है हर एक चीज में प्रॉब्लम रहेगी कहीं कुछ लोग बोलेंगे फर्स्ट नेम अनोन डालो एफ एन यू डालो कुछ बोलेंगे कि लास्ट नेम अनोन डालो कुछ बोलेंगे कि नो नेम गिवन डालो तो ये हमेशा ट्रबल रहेगा तुम्हें एक ना एक जगह बेस्ट चीज है कि अगर तुम इंडिया से अपना पासपोर्ट में नाम चेंज करवा लेते हो इनडेप्थ नॉलेज उसी को है जिसने ये चीज की है तो आई नो वन पर्सन हु रिसेंटली चेंज द नेम तो मैं उससे एक बार बात करता हूँ उन्होंने आइल्स भी दिया था एंड आई थिंक उसने उसके बाद अपना नाम चेंज करवाया है आई विल कनेक्ट यू विद हिम ही इज मेंटर इन योर पीडिया तो उनसे एक बार बात करना कि उन्होंने कैसे कैसे किया क्योंकि उन्होंने इन डेप्थ इस पर स्टडी करी थी तो ये तुम्हें वही कोई बता सकता है जिसने ये इस फेज से किया हो ठीक है सर आप ओके जब हम जैसे okay. form... Let me do one thing कि मुझे एक तीन सेक्शन रह गए इसके मुझे वो कम्प्लीट करने दो देन आई कम टू द क्वेश्चन ओके सर थैंक यू ओके सो रिकमेंडेशन हो गया एड रिकमेंडर्स जब तुम सारा इंफॉर्मेशन वेन यू फिल दैट देन आई थिंक योर प्रोफेसर विल गेट द ई मेल सो दैट इज अगेन स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एक्नोलेजमेंट देर आर सम क्वेश्चन हैव यू बीन फाउंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अ डिसिप्लिनरी वायोलेशन सो इसमें यू हैव टू से नो टू एवरी वन की तुम कुछ क्राइम में फंसे हो या फिर तुम्हारा कुछ कहीं से डिसिप्लिनरी एक्शन स्कूल या कॉलेज कहीं से आया एंड जेल वेल गए हो तो एवरी थिंग यू हैव टू सेंड नो एंड सो दिस इज सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी finally they want ki you need uh, updation from text message i have read and understood so this is the terms and condition you just say continue so this is your signature just type your full legal name over here okay so don't mess up with the name i am saying like it's a very big thing when you come to us to so first name last name leke aao if uh, uh, i know many student from haryana region oh, haryana belt here it is uh, so i would i see many students from haryana region who have only first name so just if you can like just get the new passport name and finally review so you can review your application and you can always click here to preview application proof so you can see whatever information you put some of the information was missing and uh, this is your preview of the application proof and this is the transcript degree which you uploaded so uh, sorry 
this is a preview and you can say for later uh, because I did not fill the whole applications. That's why I'm not getting the submit option. So once you complete the, uh, so he's saying, they are saying like we have detected the following error. So some of the information is missing because I did not put that. Once you do that, so this is where you can check like what is missing. So once you upload the SOP, history statement, resume, recommendation, blah, blah, blah. There is a submit option. Once you submit that, then uh, there is that portal will open where you have to pay the fee. Okay, so at that point you can stop. But my suggestion is complete the application form for whatever universities you are targeting. Okay, Sir, so official transcript ka bata to, matlab, official transcript matlab, kuch universities mangte, uska matlab kya hai? Ke hum upload kar sakte hai, nahi kar sakte usse, ya nahi. direct university for example, hmm, for example, Rutgers was asking for official transcript. So I went to my uh, bachelor's college, my university in bachelor's. So I went to that uh, uh, their office, admin office. I told them I need official transcript. So they asked me ki kahan pe send karna, where you have to send this one. So I gave the address, Rutgers University, blah, blah, blah. So if somebody is asking for official transcript, they will give you address. So I gave that address to that university on behalf of me. They sent uh, this transcript to Rutgers University in a sealed envelope. So it will take time and they will charge you some money. Like for example, they charge me 2500 for that. So this is official transcript. So you sir, you had admission process karne se, matlab, milne se pehle tha, ya milne ke baad aapne So me. yeah, that's what like universities like Purdue, if they selected me, so they will yeah. ask after that. Okay, okay, so before admission, they are saying ki just unofficial apni upload kar do. But Rutgers, and there was another university, University of Louisville. So they asked before the application deadline. So that is the thing. You before application deadline karna pada tha mujhe. So you have to post by post bhi jata, wo Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So, jase, sir, meri, uh, university is different and affiliated college. Tha. So mm -hmm. degree jo hai, wo to in university. Se hi mili. To ko university ke paas hi approach karna padega, na, regarding Correct. So, wo tumhe college bata dega tumhara ki tumhe kis ko approach karna for official transcript so every college has this provision ki jahan pe tum official transcript apni le sakte ho ab wo college dega ya university degi that depends that is subjective to your college sir agar kuch universities jaise uh, ves ya fir kisi aur medium ke through mangti hain to uske liye kya process rehta hai uh, wes ke uske liye to main time lage milega matlab tumhari selection ke baad hi hoga wo mostly na कि WES से अपने credit evaluates करो तो credit evaluates करने का मतलब कि जो तुमने इंडिया में कोर्स किया है वो अमेरिकन कोर्स के according कितने credits का है तो वो WES evaluate करेगा उसको and okay. then they by themselves send to the university you have to pay the fee it will again take time one month भी हो सकता है उसमें ना okay sir okay okay but in US nobody will ask you uh, from WES before the application deadline Okay, even if uh, I saw that Rutgers ne mujhe bola tha ki aapko deadline se pehle pehle official transcript send karni hai. It is clearly mentioned, but I know some student who didn't do that. Still, they got the admit, but uh, they got the conditional offer letter. Fir unhone uske baad wo cheez kar hai. This thing is not very, uh, I would say, like very stringent. It is not like that. Wo tumhe evaluate kar dete hai, but wo apne portal pe kewar likh dete hai. You have to upload the official transcripts. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes. So now I'll come to questions. Uh, sir, Jesse, uh, yeah, red section man gaya. Agar suppose is me ek raja ta, right? Ek ni kar, kar pate hum. To jo humne submit ki application, right? Mm -hmm. To submit to sir, aise bhi ho jati hai na, right? Aise matlab. Is case uh, me nahi hoga, I think. Is case sir, me. Uh, I mean, I I know some universities will give you uh, this thing ki aap application fee uh, pay kar do, submit kar do apni application, then it yeah. start telling you like this is missing, this is missing. In some universities waisa hota hai, but isme nahi ho raha hai. Or maybe aisa ho sakta hai ki some information is like very much mandatory like your personal background statement of purpose, this is mandatory but for example, LOR, if it is not received you start getting that uh, submit option. So maybe that's also something that can happen. You got uh, my point? So, 
So most of the universities have uh, already submitted my application and I have mailed to graduation committee that my test score is pending. Uh, so most of the universities are asking me to uh, send the unofficial score before the deadline or uh, after the deadline mm -hmm. is okay. But the thing is that in that portal, uh, the upload option is not there now. So can I send through mail or how is it that work? Yeah, I think mail will not work. Email will not work. So, uh, official, I think there must be some option. You can ask the grad committee where I have to upload the unofficial uh, GRE score or unofficial TOEFL score. But you can just send me the link. I will check and let you know. Because email to graduate committee will never work. Because they are getting so many uh, emails. Okay, but, so... there is, uh, yeah, but there is no upload option. Mm. Yeah. So then you need to check with the grad committee where I uh, there is no production for their pending. Uh... Can you repeat what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, there is no upload option for the pending documents. Uh, okay, if you can do one thing like just give me the login credentials, I will check and let you know because otherwise I'm not understanding what you're saying. So if you have my WhatsApp number, just send me the login credentials over there. <clears throat> I will log in from here and I'll let you know like what they are asking. Yeah, okay. I'm okay, okay. I'll share. Yeah, if you have very uh like your password is very personal, then just change the password and uh, send it to me. I will log in from here and then let you know. Okay. So last time, yeah, I did yeah, this sure. thing to many students. So you can do this. Yeah. Any other question from anyone? Sir, like you said, if all the credentials are not complete, they will not be able to update our profile. Mm -hmm. So, we have applied to Rutgers and they are asking for the official transcript. And they have given the upload option. Mm -hmm. But we have not sent the official transcript, we have only uploaded the unofficial one. So, will they evaluate that case or not? Or will they not reach the official one? Here, see, I will tell you one thing. <laughs> अगर तुम कल को आ, मुझे बोलोगे कि सर आपने ऐसा बोला था और उन्होंने इवैल्यूएट नहीं करी दैट्स व्हाई आई एम प्लेइंग सेफ कि वो नहीं करते हैं बट आई विल टेल यू इन रडगर्स अंकित सर अप्लाइड लास्ट ईयर ओके सो अंकित सर डिडंट सबमिट जीआरई स्कोर एंड जीआरई वाज मैंडेटरी ही गॉट ईमेल फ्रॉम द ग्रेड कमेटी कि तुम्हारा जीआरई चाहिए इट्स नॉट अपलोडेड ही डिडंट अपलोड एट दैट टाइम आल्सो बिकॉज़ ही डजंट वांट टू गो ही डजंट वांट टू स्टार्ट पीएचडी एट दैट टाइम तो फाइनली वो नहीं भी हो रहा था उनको कोई अदर कैंडिडेट नहीं मिला अंकित सर ने अपनी ऑफिशियल ट्रांसक्रिप्ट भी नहीं सेंड करी थी रेडगर्स में ओके बिकॉज आई थिंक नाउ ही नाउ रेडगर्स लिफ्टेड दिस थिंग दे आर एक्सेप्टिंग योर अनऑफिशियल ट्रांसक्रिप्ट बट स्टिल जी आर यू वॉज मैंडेटरी ही गॉट थ्री टाइम ई मेल्स की आपका जी आर स्कोर नहीं आपकी एप्लीकेशन इवेल्यूट नहीं होगी उसके बिना ब्ला 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 बट ही डजेंट वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई इन पी एच डी सो ही लीव इट लाइक दैट फाइनली ही गॉट द ऑफर लेटर विदाउट जी आर यू ऑल्सो because okay. professor doesn't find any other candidate who has experience in material science and mechanical engineering so he got the offer letter but then yeah. also like he rejected this phd because he doesn't want to do phd sir like ek aur question jaise maine btech kiya ab btech electrical mein kiya lekin mere paas koi research experience nahi tha to aur meri cgpa jo hai wo 9.06 hai to us mein to like 3.6 plus plus hi hai wo उटफोर्ड तो इन दैट केस अगर सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स कर लो थोड़े से सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स और आई वुड से कि तुम्हारे पास किसी टाइप की कुछ पब्लिकेशन हो बट तुम्हारे पास वो नहीं है एंड uh, यूनिवर्सिटी के स्टैंडर्ड पे भी आ जाएगा कि अब 
ऐसा होगा कि अगर यू हैव नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो सिक्स सी जी पे समबडी फ्रॉम चाइना विद सेम सी जी पे प्लस वन पब्लिकेशन दैन उसको पी एच डी ऑफर हो जाएगा तो थिंग इज की एस ओ पी बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग लिखना बिल्कुल अपनी मोटिवेशन उसमें अच्छी लिखोगी क्यों पी एच डी करनी है ऐसे हवा में नहीं होनी चाहिए एस ओ पी प्लस सी जी पी ए तो चांसेज रहते हैं डायरेक्ट पी एच डी में ओके ओके